Hello everybody, this is Diane. I had the most awesome day at the flea market this morning. I I was kind of short on time, kind of hurrying because I have a lot of things going on today. But I went early enough and I'm so glad I went earlier than I normally do because I think some of the things I picked up would have been gone uh, if I had waited. So I, I actually prayed when I pulled in. I said, Lord, Please help me to find something good without getting carried away. Because I didn't want to bring home a lot of stuff that I didn't really need. Not that I need any of it, but you know what I mean. So I found amazing things, and I brought home quite a bit, but I, I don't think any of it was something that I should have left behind, if that makes sense to you. So this is going to be two videos. Um, I got a bunch of stuff from one vendor at the very end and I will show that to you in a separate video because there's things in there I need to go through and look at because I don't even know they they were packaged so I don't even know what's what all is in the packages so we're gonna go through all that together but I can't wait to show you this part of it is amazing too I just had a great day at the flea market and I hope you will agree when you see what I got I'm gonna start with the textiles The first thing I found was this, <coughs> sorry, I was trying so hard not to cough. This looks like it was a remnant from Walmart, from the labeling. And it was a dollar. And from what I could tell, it looked pretty. It's a heavier decorator fabric. It is pretty. This could make some pretty journal covers. I don't know how big the piece is, but there's quite a bit there. You could make several journal covers out of it. And this piece is pretty big also. It looks, I don't know, it looks like the 70s to me. Um, oh, there's a seam there. What is this? It's got raw edges. Just, it's all sewn together right there. So it's a pretty big piece and really fun red, white, and blue patchwork country look to it. And they only charged me $2 for that big piece of fabric. Then I went to, well, I got this one from one lady. This just um, pieced table mat. And from another lady, I got this apron. Just a cute print. And I also got from her this book, Crochet and Knitting, for a domestic arts journal. And then I really started having fun because I went to a vendor's table that I wasn't familiar with her and I saw vintage patterns and I did not know how much she was going to charge. <coughs> I just grabbed them all because they can be kind of expensive. When I went to the antique mall with my friends, I bought um, vintage patterns for $2 each. If you look for them on eBay, they're quite a bit more. But she had this. I got a bunch of stuff from her, and um, there's quite a bit here, and she charged me 50 cents for this beautiful piece. There's a lot there. Let's take a look at the patterns. Well, no, let's finish these. Um, this is little duckies, little embroidered trim, and there's a lot here. It says 10 yards, and it's pretty full, so... It might have the full 10 yards on there. There's a, a lot of little duckies there. And then this, I thought it was rickrack, but it's not quite. I don't know, it's, it's a polyester. Um, but it's got a rickrack <coughs> look to it. I'm sorry, I'm having some trouble with my chest again. And then we got patterns, so we'll just quickly look through the patterns. I'm not going to look for years because they often don't have years on them. 
these are old. These look like they're from the 50s, this style. And the, and the style of pattern itself, too. All right, I just have to look at one to see if I can find the price or the year. Nope, not on the outside of the pattern. Anyway, isn't that nice? Simplicity. That also looks like it's from the 50s. Simplicity, I think, is the one that sometimes puts the year on. There's another one, Little Girls. Oh, there's a dolly pattern. This one looks old. I, I think they're from the 50s, really. 35 cents for a pattern. A Vogue. This one says 1954. 50 cents a piece she charged me for these. I could not believe it. I don't know when she bought them, but she said she was going to make a, do a project with them and never did. And I was like, yay! <laughs> this is so pretty. There's an envelope for this one somewhere. Maybe that's it. Isn't that pretty? That's probably from the 60s. So I think I got about 16. No. I don't know. I was thinking I paid $15 for patterns, but I don't think there's 30 patterns here. Because she charged me, she said 50 cents a piece. I don't know, maybe. There's another dolly pattern. This one's cute. Love that one. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah. Fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two. 24, 26, 28, 29. Yeah, there's 29 or 30 patterns there. That's amazing. Then I could not believe that she had stamps. Brand new, unused stamps. Some of them are Tim Holtz and some are... Oh, I'll just show them to you. You wait till you see these. Some of them didn't have the packaging, but they're unused. And I think that's a Tim Holtz one. Always be on the lookout for present for the presence of wonder. And I know this one is a Tim Holtz one. And I may have that. I think I have this one. So this could go in my shop. And then this creativity is seeing what everyone else has seen. Thinking what no one else has thought. Little botanical one. This one has bicycles and gentlemen. It's a really cute one. And this sewing machine one from Stamp Abilities. There's a Christmas one, Tim Holtz, with the pretty deer and the music, snowflakes. It's just a really nice set of little stamps that I can use in my Christmas journals. Look at this one. Feriopolis, and these are the Cecily Mary Baker, Cecily Mary Barker, and this is what the stamps are. Woohoo! Do you believe in fairies? White Bryony, have a wonderful day. Rose Hip, that one's Rose Hip, and Slow. I think that one's slow, so that one must be white bryony. I couldn't believe that. And here's another Tim Holtz one with a butterfly and a pattern. 
Live your dream with passion. Replace fear of the known, unknown with curiosity. And a wonderful number set. Uh, this is <coughs> a British, or international one, actually. There's British and French images here. So that's a travel one. This one is from Autumn Leaves. Just a bunch of hearts and stars. And this one is uh, Dina Wakely. Looks like it was it came with a stencil, but I don't have the stencil. Just the stamps, but they're birds. And then this one is also Dina Wakely. This one did come with a stencil. And then I got two more stencils. I think I have this one. And then also from the same vendor, I got two paper doll books that are unused and in excellent condition. This is 19... 72. Snow White. Her prince looks like a little boy, that face. He looks more like Huckleberry Finn. Oh, look at the dwarves' costumes. <gasps> Florentine. Oh, so cute. There's the witch. She's got a beautiful Florentine dress, too. Wow, here's all the dwarves. And it is in such good shape. And then we have Princess Diana. Nineteen eighty five. So some of her iconic outfits. Stuck together. And her tiara. <laughs> All right, so that was from one vendor. And then lastly, before, without counting the last lady that I went to and got a bunch of stuff, I asked the gentleman at another booth how much he was going to, he was charging for the postcards because he had this box of postcards sitting there and I saw a few that I liked and I just wanted to know how much he was charging for each postcard. He said, oh, I don't know. He said, you want the whole box? I'll give you the whole box for $10. So I took it. So let's see what we have here. These are some large ones. These are Niagara Falls. They feel a little dirty. These were three cents to mail back at whenever these were printed, those large postcards. Yeah, they feel a little grimy. I'll have to wipe them down. So there's um, the scenic ones. You will see, you'll be seeing a lot of these postcards in my shop. State capital of St. Paul, Minnesota. Sibley, Lindsay, and Kerr Company's store. I've never heard of that. Where is it? It does not say. I'll have to look that up. Rochester, New York. Lots of pretty scenic ones. And then some photographic ones. There's a rancher. Looks like sheep. Yep, sheep. There's a cemetery. Dress of Martha Washington. Dress of Mary Todd Lincoln. <laughs> Around here, I have a very responsible position. Every time something goes wrong, I'm responsible. Is there a doctor in the house? I'm sick of work. Women's Christian Temperance Union. There's a letter. 
from 1929. And a letter from 1902. Wow. Dear brother and sister. It's from Nellie. Look at that nice train card. Beautiful. These are beautiful postcards. Marine Land. One of those booklet ones. These are the ones I was interested in. I'll save those for last. Some more booklet ones. Florida Silver Springs, Arizona, Indiana. Stardust Hotel. Camp Drum, New York. I wonder if that is now Fort Drum, New York. That's where my daughter and her family were stationed for a while. Pennsylvania Turnpike. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, St. Augustine, Florida, Holland, Michigan, and Oahu. Here's a photograph of a little child. Thousand Islands Cruise. Oh, I've been on that. It's in the, well, it's in the Thousand Islands, New York and Canada. Yeah. Morning Glass Center. I've been there. You've probably heard of Corning Glassware. It is made in Corning, New York, which is probably a little over an hour away from me. You can go here and you used to be able to, well, you can watch them blow glass, but you used to be able to blow some yourself, but they haven't been doing that since COVID. It's a little one, Bear Tooth Highway, Montana. I'll have to see if Gail knows about that place. Cactus and Desert Flora. Ooh, pretty. Beautiful desert pictures. It's a torn up one. Complete poems of Hart Crane. Harrisburg, New Hampshire. Missouri, Florida, Marine Land, Marine Studios, and Marine Land, Florida, Sullivan County, New York. Oh, that is a beautiful county. We used to camp there when I was a kid. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at that. I'll show that to my dad. Um, Gettysburg. I've been there a couple of times. Went there when I was a kid with my family, and then my husband and I were there for my nephew's wedding, and we spent some extra days so we could tour the battlefield again. Lots of beautiful postcards in there. I took lots of photos when we, we did our own tour. We didn't take a guided tour of the battlefield. Yeah, nice pictures, nice postcards. I've got a greeting card or something here. Oh, what is this? Happy New Year. It's a little booklet greeting card. It's in, it's in okay condition, but kind of dirty. Historic Williamsburg, Niagara Falls. This is one of those books that has the tearaway part. Some of them were probably sent to people. There's only two of the big cards left. Some glimpses of Elmira around 1900 with a question mark is written there. They're assuming that the photographs were from around 1900 and the cover is gone. There's no way to tell. Well, it says 1900, so maybe these pictures are from 1900. This will be interesting, too. My mother grew up in Elmira, and I'm going to my sister's when I'm done with this video. Oh, somebody chewed it. Some critter. 
and she lives near Elmira. She lives in Southport, which is a, a suburb of Elmira. Christmas card. Okay, let's take a look at these postcards. Merry Christmas. I've got to take an allergy pill. These things are making me itch. There's Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Easter, Earth Day, For President, William Howard Taft. For Vice President, James Sherman. Can't wait to wash my hands. It's going to take me some time to wipe all of these things down. at these were not well cared for cards not that they're torn they're just kind of stained and dirty. This is a Bible text. I think these kind of cards were given out at Sunday school. Little Bible lesson pictures published quarterly. I had some of them before. I made a digital with them. I wonder if those digitals are still in my shop. So I'm going to my sister's, um, tomorrow's her birthday, so my other sister and I are meeting her at her house and we're going to our favorite chicken house. We did it last year. Annette's birthday is in April and Barbara's birthday is in May and my birthday is in August. Unfortunately, we were having a heat wave last year and they had turned off the rotisserie ovens because it was just too hot. So we were there for my birthday. We didn't get the chicken that we all love. So anyway, that's a lot of stuff that I got. And, and that is just, I'm not done. I've got more stuff from another vendor, all from another vendor. So if you remember last year on uh, Labor Day, yeah, Labor Day. I went and I came back with a big box full of laces and trims and another box full of papers. And there were lots of valentines and receipts and oh, all kinds of stuff. Postcards. And this is the same lady. So I got some more from her today. Not as much as I got uh, Labor Day, but I got some. So we're going to look at them on another video because I need to get ready to go. So come back probably tomorrow. The next video will be up. And uh, tell me what you think. What did you think was your favorite? I mean, I was, I was ready to go home after I found the patterns. That was enough for me. And then I found all those stamps, which were incredible. And uh, all the other things I love. And then the stuff, the other lady I found before I left. Just before I left. So... I had a really great day, so I don't have a favorite. I really don't. If I really had to choose, I'd probably say the, the patterns because they're kind of hard to find. So tell me what your favorite is, and I will see you in the next video. Have a creative day today. Bye-bye.